Okay, so uh, what is NFRs? Uh, before we actually uh, define the NFRs or we deep dive into the non-functional requirement, I think we'll take a step back and try to understand the requirement. So on a broader level, a requirement has been categorized into two uh, buckets. One is the functional requirement, the other is the non-functional requirement. Most of us who had been involved in client workshop during the project discovery phase in gathering the client requirement, um, I believe that he or she is well versed with these terms. But there's no harm in actually refreshing these things again and again. Uh, functional requirement is what that describes the behavior in terms of the functions or services for the systems that has to be designed to support user goal, task, or activities. Whereas in uh, the non-functional requirement, uh, uh, there's no standard definitions to it. Uh, someone define it or call it the requirement to define how software will do it. Someone defines it as a constraint to the services or functions offered by the systems. Uh, or uh, you can call it as attribute or quality that the product must have. Requirement that describe not what the software will do, but how the software will do it. Uh, for example, uh, uh, requirement around the performance, requirement around the external interfaces, design constraints, and other are generally called as non feature requirement. Uh, so in a single liner, uh, I would say that specification of how well a software system must function is nothing but a non feature requirement. So uh, in a functional requirements, uh, uh, the, the requirements are totally different uh, from the non-functional requirement because there are usually much more difficulties in designing and testing of the non-functional requirements. Getting a design to meet the non-functional requirement often take a large portion of the schedule and is filled with a lot of problems uh, and integrity uh, where the functional requirements tends to be more straightforward. Uh, for example, setting a database uh, to store or retrieve a transaction is pretty straightforward. And this is nothing but a functional requirement. But let's say uh, if a business has a requirement of getting a high performance out of a distributed infrastructure with high load uh, requires a lot, of, lot more of thought, designing, and way of validating and testing uh, this particular requirement. So there's a huge difference between a functional and non-functional requirement that uh, everyone has to understand that. Classifying the requirements. Uh, so uh, though there are few triple I standard models uh, that listed non-functional requirements to be included in a software requirement document, but uh, I would say that the first first model is one of the unified proposed process through which you can classify all these requirements. Uh, first is nothing but the acronyms of a functional, usability, reliability, performance, and the supportability. Uh, the, the plus model uh, also provides the additional requirements uh, under the general level of non-functional requirement. Uh, an example is like, say, the implementation requirement uh, where the constants uh, are more related to the coding or the construction of the system. Uh, for example, required uh, business require a standard platform or uh, implementation language like C, Java, or Visual Basic, something like, like that. Uh, interface requirement uh, is a requirement to interact with the external party, uh, how the system has to call or do a third party calls let's say it could be probably over the HTTPS using soft call or something like that. Uh, in terms of the design requirement, uh, it, it's primarily constraint related to the design of the systems. Uh, example uh, could be a relational database is required uh, or uh, let's say single sign-on uh, uh, function is required. So these are nothing but the, the constraint related to the design. A physical requirement uh, is nothing but uh, more around the constant imposes on the hardware used to house uh, the the infrastructure. Uh, for example, uh, the model and the specification of hardware, whether it should be uh, 
deployed on this space system, six space system, or in the public cloud, private cloud, or or, or the hybrid cloud. So these are the constants that that generally been 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 put in uh, while we actually talk about these requirements. Uh, coming to the first model again, uh, when we say the functional, so these are the high level bucket. Uh, which can be subcategorized into the other non-functional requirement. For example, the functional is uh, where you can talk talk about other non-functional requirements like capability, like uh, reusability, security, uh, compatibility, interoperability. So uh, these can be subcategorized into or can be put into a single bucket called functional requirement. Uh, <coughs> All functional requirements usually represent uh, main product features, uh, for example, uh, processing or the order process requirement uh, that the client has or business had. Uh, this can also be architecturally significant in terms of auditing, licensing, uh, let's say online help, chatting system, reporting, security, and uh, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, when it comes to the usability, uh, uh, it's more around how the system can can be made usable uh, for uh, uh, and and discover uh, functionalities or the non-functional uh, requirement like uh, uh, human factor, uh, consistency, documentation, reporting, uh, responsiveness. Uh, uh, coming to the reliability, uh, uh, they can again subcategorize into. Uh, non-functional requirement which is more related to the reliability of the system like availability, failure, uh, recoverability, stability, accuracy. Uh, performance uh, is again um, uh, more around how the system is going to perform and the, the non-functional requirement which can be uh, subcategorized into this performance uh, uh, big header uh, could be like the speed of your uh, hardware, the efficiency that you really want to achieve, uh, resource consumption in terms of uh, the CPU, memory, cache, extra, uh, throughput of your system that you're looking for, capacity, scalability, all these non-functional requirements generally come into the performance bucket. Uh, supportability is more around uh, maintaining or providing a support to the systems and the NFRs like uh, serviceability, sustainability, maintainability, uh, adaptability, modularity, all such type of requirements generally fall into the, the big bucket like uh, uh, big bucket called supportability. Uh, uh, when it comes to the example, uh, let's say if there is an example uh, or if there is a requirement of a product uh, that should support a multilingual, uh, that is nothing but a supportability requirement. Uh, if the business requirement is more around the persistence of your uh, the persistence should be handled by a database is again uh, is, is a design requirement. Uh, database is specifically should be a 11G, Oracle 11G, uh, this is uh, more like an, an implementation requir requirement. An online chat system is required is nothing but a functional requirement. Uh, let's say uh, a presentation layer uh, would be written in Java or let's say in Visual Basic that is more like an implementation requirement. Uh, if the requirement is more around that system should be available or should support 99.99% is again is, is more like an availability requirement. So these are the, the, the high level categorization of your requirement be it functional or be it non-functional. So managing NFRs, uh, 